alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of middleweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a belt breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Jermaine Taylor is not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on this ring walk. Lamada's got a target on his opponent from the moment he steps out of that locker room to every step he takes during this ring walk, you can see exactly what's in his scope. His adversary, with a record of 83 tries, 30 by way of knockout and 19 losses, fighting out of the Bronx, the Bronx Bowl, Jake Lamada. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. Teddy, what role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going to the shower earlier than you wanted to. Combination to the head. Not as accurate as he wanted at that time. He only got a little piece of him. Good exchange. He fires back. Off the target by Jake Lamada. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Fine looking right hand by Jake Lamada. Not able to connect with the uppercut. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. And a good solid one-two combo by Jermaine Taylor. You're in control. No effort, okay? This is your fight. Here we go. Round two is underway. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Jake Lamada's got to do a better job. He is getting rocked. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Solid right by Jermaine Taylor. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. What a nice uppercut that was from Jermaine Taylor. Not 
not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Jermaine Taylor. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. 90 seconds to go here in this round. To the head he goes with a left hand. Lamada's now in a spot that many fighters have faced numerous times, and that is how do you deal with seeing your own blood and knowing that you have incurred some serious damage? Look at that cut around the eye. No, for a fighter to be able to move to the top, he's got to be tested in a lot of areas. Sometimes the test comes when he's hurt. He's hit on the chin. He's dropped for the first time. Sometimes the test comes when you drop the other guy and he gets up and he comes at you. And sometimes the test comes in the form of a cut. When you see your first blood, when you see it, that it's your blood. How do you behave? We're gonna find out right now. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Jermaine Taylor. And we come to the end of round number two. Jake Lamada. Well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. His punches are right now lacking that snap. I mean, we're early in this fight, but you can see that he's worn down just from his work rate. Yeah, and you know what he's seeing? He's seeing a guy with a cement chin, an iron chin. And I'm wondering if he's not starting to get a little bit discouraged. Well, he missed that right. Nice work, nice work. Scored well up top. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Jermaine Taylor. Taylor's hand speed is right now the difference. Teddy, you got faster hands, you're halfway home. Yeah, that's a great, great asset to have, is to be able to do that. But there is a way to negate it, to counter it, and that's to time the punches. Timing can beat speed. What I wanna see. Use the ring, use the ring! Halfway through this round. What an excellent two-punch combo by Jake Lamada. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. Jake LaMotta is taking a lot of punishment. Maybe too much punishment for an experienced referee like the one we have in there today to just keep on watching. Yeah, you would expect him to be ready to do his job. Sometimes the job is to keep them fighting, you know, to make sure they break. Sometimes it's to stop the fight. I think it's that time now. Taylor's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. What impact with that uppercut by Jermaine Keep doing Taylor. What you're doing. Ten seconds to go in this third round. You don't use it. You won that round, all right? You won that. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Are you going to let your hands go? Start of round number four. Taylor's well-skilled plan has earned him every round on your scorecard, Teddy. Yeah, he hasn't always been the aggressor, but he's definitely been the more effective puncher, landing the clean shots. Well, digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking a shot. Jake Lamada's just not throwing many jabs here tonight, Teddy. I know that really bothers you. You like a guy that commits to the jab, don't you? Well, that's boxing 101. I mean, that's the fundamentals. And it has so many areas where it serves you. I mean, it sets up your punches. It sets up your offense. But it controls your defense. It keeps the guy at a certain distance. Gives the guy something to think about. Just the most basic thing in the world. Great work offensively landing that combination by Jake Lamada. Nice, nice. Lamada's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. 
Right hand downstairs. Taylor's fighting real smart here on the outside. There he is zoning in, the old one-two. Let it go! Didn't get it done going to the body there. Flush right hand to the head. Scores big with the hook to the head. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Lamada's opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. And that's the end of round four. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Oh, he watched the movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yep. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. Lamada's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Jermaine Taylor. Excellent counter punch by Jermaine Taylor. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Good looking uppercut that time. That's a forceful two punch combo by Jermaine Taylor. Halfway into round number five here. Lamada's in that position that nobody likes to be in. Seeing your own blood and knowing you've been cut. Look at his mouth. He missed with that headshot. Taylor's in the midst of this fight, boxing very, very well. Teddy, what does he have to do to maintain this kind of level? You know, I hate to use these old analogies, these overused analogies, but you know what? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Zoning in on that gut, combination punch downstairs. Brings the hook that time. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. And round five comes to an end. You can have the best game plan in the world, but when your eye shuts closed like that, everything changes. But one thing doesn't change, Joe, and that's the mentality of a warrior. You find a way. You do not give in. You find a way. You concentrate harder, and you see with that one eye what you need to see. All right, breathe, deep breath, get some water. You good? Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Jabbing a straight by Jermaine Taylor. He took a go of it to the body but came up empty. Lamada's finding out right now that this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle rounds. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming in or walking in, you can't counter-punch. I mean, he's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you need. Now you have to find a way to create your offense, to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. Decide to trade there. There's the combo downstairs. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. 
Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't thrown back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Well played, straight right hand. Good solid one-two by Jermaine Taylor. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. And that does it for this round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Lamada's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Taylor's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his talents, his abilities, and he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. Jake Lamada is known as a brawler. He's known as a slugger. Right now, that's not working out. He's doing a poor job in these middle rounds. Well, he picked the wrong guy to fight that. It's over. This fight is over. Taylor's got himself a victory. And I like that stoppage there, folks. You know, he just wasn't throwing back, not defending himself. And the referee has to look out for the fighter's physical well-being. TKO victory.